Um, so an experiment that we uh, had thought of three or four years ago has finally come true today. I have nothing to do with this except to wear a suit and try and look passable. Uh, Suchi Smita, who you know is the director of the foundation. Anoki, who's the director of our other initiative called REACH, where we school children from the furthest outposts of India. That's Anoki, wave Anoki. We can have some lights on in the, in the auditorium. That's Anoki. And our kids, uh, basically the other part of the foundation is we look at children from the furthest outposts of India and we select them at the age of 11 after spending 18 months in a particular region. And then we uh, school, college and mentor them for 15 years. So it's from 11 to employability or whatever you call it. And um, the focus is to connect children to the idea, the foundational idea of India as a secular, democratic, inclusive space. So the first place we went to was the Andaman Nicobar Islands in 2006. Our kids who were 11 then are 19 now. And they, against all my wishes, wanted to volunteer at this. Not because it's about CSA, but because I don't think they should be volunteering. They should be sitting and sitting where you are and eating gorgeous food and having a great time, but they wanted to. So where are you? Jinu, Pratima in the gray, Matrina in the green uh, have been just listening, hopefully, listening to all of this. Um, sorry, somebody wants to say something? Who? Oh, Animesh has turned up today. I said, there's Animesh who's, who's number four out of the six kids. The other two, Bindu and Ruksar, are uh, in exams. Please sit, for, for God's sake. You didn't even need to stand. You could have waved. Um, just better human, human beings than I ever was when I was 19, and I ever will be. This much I can guarantee you. So thank you for that. And the rest, uh, Beanish is here. Beanish. Beanish is also. Ja where's Janvi? Everybody knows Janvi. I'm sure she must have been harassing you before this entire thing. Janvi is one of the think tank to put the people together here. And Beanish is, uh, now works with us, and she's. Um, just starting out her, her wonderful long life. So I needed to do that. This event cost us 20 lakhs. Bajaj gave us eight. And we said, we, we couldn't believe it. The fact that a corporate group can actually come out there and say, we want to put our hands up for child sexual abuse is something that's not very uh, popular. Am I right? It's, it's not, we don't hear that very often. So maybe what Suchi did, Suchi and Anoki, do you guys pitched or you pitched? Janvi and you pitched. Maybe what you said to the Bajaj group you can share with you know, everybody. And whatever you said obviously worked. So this is, of course, it is to say thank you to them. And to, but they don't need publicity for 180 of us. There's nobody from the press out here. But just to say that here's, you know, here, here I think it was Neeraj and um, Minal, Minal Bajaj who actually gave us the money because the Bajaj group is a massive uh, sort of uh, hydra-headed um, uh, benevolent uh, presence. Um, and so, so you know, uh, thanks to them, obviously. Uh, NCP is like my second home. I began to act here from the age of, uh, oh God, my first play here was, I think, Topsy Turvy, and I did it in the, in the main, in the main, what a fantastic theater space that is in 1987 or 8, 89, 89, when I was 22. Okay, so um, thank you. There's a total absence of ego in this room. It's such a pleasure. Because in India, you put mathematicians together and they'll kill themselves. You put classical music singers, and I'm not joking, and they'll wipe each other out. I have auctions where I call the greatest sporting names in India's history to donate memorabilia, and the first thing they want to know is, which is their auction number? I'm like, it's alphabetical. Oh, first name or last name? Yeah, because if you're Rahul Bose, you want it to be last name. <laughs> if it's first time, then you're going to go way down. That's how it is in this country. Perhaps that's how it is all over the world. Perhaps it is human nature to be insecure. I believe that we're inherently shy, which is when we stand up and Shubhada notwithstanding where I made a fool of myself, and we don't announce who we are and where we come from. It's because we're shy. It's not because we have egos. We just, yeah, new strangers, you are, let's ask the question. But the idea here is to just all of us be together so that we can pick up that damn phone tomorrow SMS, Principal Secretary, okay, or call you and say, listen, uh, you talked something about this thing at lunch, and I don't know enough, enough about it, please tell me. Because as, as I started this whole thing yesterday, and you all know the statistics, at last count, sir, depending on which server you look at, we have either 1.2 or 3.5 million NGOs in this country. 
out of which 20%, as a conservative estimate, are working on education. That's between 200,000 to 700,000. And how many do we have on CSA, which government survey said 52.2% of children were abused out of 12,000 odd children about two, three years ago? How many NGOs do we have? NGOs, entities, people? Not more than 25. It's a, it's, it's, it's a, it's a look at the gap. Which is why when Suchi said that this is something that we'd like to really have, I said, we have to. Because if we don't work together, we won't even make it attractive for other kids, other people, other, other, NG, other people to sort, sort of, and we, we want to make this 20,000, surely. We don't want to make it, just keep it 25 all, all our lives. That's what the foundation has tried to do. It's, that's basically what we will do year after year after year, outside of all the work, incredible work that uh, Suchi does with her team. Outside of that, this is where I will put my money or my mouth, you know, I will put it down every single year so we can get together. We can get together and we can argue, discuss, but we can just, maybe not family, but certainly friends. And we can all share and we can all do this without a sense of ego. So, of course, we'll see you next year. And of course, we'll talk through this year. But in the very, very short term, we will definitely give you guys interesting synopsis of what happened and also what we can do together. And as I said, I put my hand up. I promise to make this happen way before 365, hopefully by 180, post the elections, once I know who the, who the new MPs are. I'll definitely put them in front of you and then the wisest heads in this room can decide what you want to do with them. So thank you very much.